All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across the globe that's laboring and pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Okay, it's the brother Yah Rock uh, back once again. And uh, Lord willing, I would like to do a, a quick, uh, straight to the point lesson. Uh, basically, with the uh, topic of having fear and trusting Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, okay, and not having fear in our adversary, Eve, all right, which is Esau, the so called white man, okay. And uh, so jumping straight to it, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Psalms 91, okay. This is Psalms 91, all right. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty, okay. So, what is that secret place of the Most High? All right, the secret place of the Most High is this word, okay? So, uh, Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust, okay? So, right, he is our, our, our refuge, okay? You know, in him should we ought to trust, okay? Because, you know, undoubtedly, we're entering in some uh, dark times, okay? Uh, some harsh times, man. We, we already in it, you know, the beginnings, you know. We are in bad times, you know what I'm saying? But uh, as Yahweh Shah said, these are just the beginning of sorrows. It's going to be a lot worse, okay? Uh, a lot of things is going to, uh, you know, uh, take place, man. And, you know, it's, it's going to be real ugly out here, man. You know? And, uh, but the point being is, you know, we should seek uh, refuge starting with this word, man. You know, uh, for you Israelites, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, uh, you still have an opportunity, man, to, uh, you know, the doors of mercy are still open, all right? But now is that time to seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man, okay? Uh, you know? So going back to verse 2, it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. You know, our people, that's a part of those uh, doomsday preppers, you know what I'm saying? Another good example, right? Uh... You know what I'm saying? Doing ridiculous shit, you know, setting up traps, having uh, secret uh, passages in the house, you know what I'm saying? Stocking up on guns and, you know, doing all this and that, man. But ultimately, man, those things are only going to get you so far, man. If you ain't uh, pretty much under that shadow of the Almighty, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah, in that time, and you out of luck, man, okay? Uh, so, so like you, man, I'm going to get back to the scripture. Psalms 91 and 2, it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and in him will I trust. Okay? Uh, you damn sure, you know, can't trust your enemy, all right, which is the so-called white man, all right? You know, he's going to come in as the, as the, as the, uh, as the uh, you know, for you two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, he's going to present himself as the, as, as the uh, how they say, the knight in a shining armor, you know what I'm saying, that savior, all right? But he's, you know, he's your enemy, man. And he, you know, he's going to show his hand, man, which he's been doing, but, you know, he's going to be putting a lot of y'all to death, man. You know, that's his intentions, man, okay? So, uh... It says, verse 3, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Okay? So, right. Uh, verse 4 says, He shall cover thee with, a, with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth 
shall be thy shield and buckler. Okay? So, right. His, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler, man. Okay? So, you have to have faith in Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shah, man. Approaching these times, man. Okay? Uh, I'm going to jump to... To the book of Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus uh, 34, and I'm going to start at 14. Okay, it says, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doeth he look, and who is his strength. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and a strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon and pres uh, preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. Okay. So right going back into uh, having that fear of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. He is our, you know, our, our, our God, our protection, man, you know, he's the one that's able to deliver us out of times of trouble, okay, you know what I'm saying, uh, real quick, with that being said, uh, this is, uh, Sirach 2, uh, Sirach 2, and verse 8, all right, this is uh, Sirach 2 and 8. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Okay? Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good, and for everlasting joy and mercy. And here's the point. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that caught upon him? Okay? And the answer is none, man. Okay? If you, uh, you know, walk upright in the spirit, man, and, and, and follow your how about Shemi Shah, you know, in our sincerity, man, you know, he's not going to leave you uh, stuck out, the, you know, Sirach 2 out, and uh, 2 and 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he dis did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay. So all right. And you know, we enter in a time where, you know, this devil may uh you know, cause situations to where, you know, if you don't have uh, the vaccine, you could lose your job, you know, or you might not be, be able to obtain certain jobs without having a vaccine, okay? But uh, we shouldn't have that, you know, fear, man, you know? And, and you know, the Lord is going to provide, man, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is always going to look over those that serve him, man, okay? Put that fear and trust in him. You know, that's the point I'm making, man. You know, we shouldn't be, you know, letting those things uh, that are possibly, you know, uh, situations that can occur, you know, put you in a uh, doubtful mind, man. You know, you see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to get this real quick. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 28. All right. So this is Matthew 10 and 28, all right, and this is uh, the Lord Yahweh Shah, okay? Matthew 10 and 28, it says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to de destroy both body, salakia, both soul and body in hell, okay? So we shouldn't fear this devil, man, okay? You know, it may come down to it, man, you know, if you don't take, take this, uh, Maxine, you know, and you could lose your job or, you know what I'm saying? 
ultimately, you know, he's gonna come with that uh that uh mark of the beast. You see? That RFID chip, okay? And that's gonna be uh mandatory, all right, under this devil. You see? He even may uh you know cause you know for you to be put in uh prison, man, for not uh following suit, okay, for rejecting it, you know, threatening your family, man, you know, use all different type of tactics against you, okay, you see, but we shouldn't have fear in that, man, okay, our fear and trust should be in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, man, just glory and honor unto Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Yahweh double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across the globe, pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, okay? And to the men, women, and children, all right, for sincere believers of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Shalom.